Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing another Abercrombie haul, but this time every item is on clearance. So this haul in total was only $88. And I got so, so many really nice items. So I'm excited to share it with you guys, kind of my Abercrombie hack. Definitely, definitely checking out their clearance section. Also, I feel like recently they're always having some sort of 30% off, 20% off sale. So definitely be on the lookout for those sales. Another little Abercrombie tip or hack, if you do have an account with them, when you add your items to your cart, you don't actually like check out, you just leave them in your cart. A lot of times you'll get an email notification when those items do go on sale. So just a little hack for you guys. But before we get into the full haul, be sure you take the time right now and subscribe. Also be sure to hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. I post new videos every Thursday and Saturday. And yeah, let's get into the haul. All right, so here is the big bag. I did actually do some in-person shopping for this, which is another little hack too. I feel like their in-person sale selection is sometimes it's just more on sale. I'm not explaining it. We'll do like an extra 50% off already marked down items or something similar to that. So all of these were in store purchases, although their online clearance is really nice as well. It's also super organized where you can literally just filter by your size. I will say though, shopping in person, sometimes I am between sizes. So it's nice to be in person and I don't miss out on things that actually might end up fitting me. But anyways, first item in this haul, we've got this really cute top and this top has a lot of really cute details on it it has this fun puffy sleeve it's almost like a princess kind of style with these sleeves they are a bit cinched at the bottom and then that matches the back on it also has that kind of cinched detail the front has a corset kind of style going on and I feel like it just fits really really well I am wearing this one in an extra small and I think again the fit is perfect I do think though you could potentially go up a size in this one or down a size because the back is so stretchy there's kind of a lot of room in it and yeah this one is super super cute I feel like it's perfect more for a fall time look maybe not super summery right now but I think it's just so pretty and it was on such a great deal, I couldn't pass it up. I'm going to refer to my receipt. So this one originally retails for around $65, marked down to $22, and then marked down additionally to $10, which is incredible, literally like over 50% off. But yeah, so really, really great deal. And again, really cute top, so overall, just a big win starting out this haul. All right, and then next up, I've got another little brown top and this one is a satin button up. And I feel like this style is just so, so classic. And Abercrombie always has such great quality items and this is really, really nice. It feels very thick, very luxurious. And I do, again, like the brown color in it. I think it's a really fun, kind of different neutral, especially for fall and winter time. So I'm really excited about that. Also, I feel like this could double as a workwear outfit for the office. So getting some double use out of it. And this one I am wearing in an extra small and I think the fit is really nice. Sometimes I'm worried about these shirts being a little too long, but this one I feel like is cut at a nice spot. It's not cropped by any means. It's still like very much a real long button down, but it doesn't have like too much going on when I try to tuck it into something. But yeah, so it's just a really nice button up satin shirt. All right, and a price point on this one. This originally retails for $70, marked down to $29, and then it marked down again to $13. So literally 70 to 13. <laughs> such, such great deals. I'm telling you, Abercrombie Clarence is like such a hidden gem of the shopping world. Just literally crazy, crazy deals. So yeah, this Beautiful, nice, great quality satin button up for only $13. Amazing. I can't wait to show you what I have next. All right, so here is my next item. And when I initially pulled this, I thought it was just a leather blazer. But it is actually a leather blazer dress, which I feel like is such a cool style. I've never owned one myself and I feel like it definitely pushes me out of my style comfort zone but it's just so so cool that I just had to still try it on and this one I am wearing an extra small petite and I think the fit is just perfect 
perfect on it. I feel like with this style, you don't want it too, too baggy because at some point it looks a little bit awkward, but the fit on this one, extra small petite is really, really nice. So if you're looking for a similar sizing and maybe going down a couple sizes since I'm normally just a regular extra small, I'm not sure if the petite is size-wise or length-wise, but I think both ways the length and the size fits really well and then this one again is definitely more of a winter time kind of outfit it doesn't really scream summer but I will be very excited to bust this out in a couple of months and then price point on this one this dress originally retails for a hundred and ten dollars marked down to about $40 and then additionally marked down it to $20. So $110 to $20. I just had to buy it <laughs> at that point. But yeah, seriously, it's such, such great savings, such great deals. That's kind of the theme here, obviously. But yeah, if you're looking for a cute little leather blazer dress, look no further. All right, and then next up, I've got this little hoodie, and this is just a little cropped hoodie with a zipper. I feel like I've noticed a lot of my jackets just don't have hoods on them. I don't really know why. I just noticed that the other day, so I was really excited when I found this jacket that does, in fact, have a hood. I do like the crop detail on it. I think it's really cute. It does also have pockets in it, which is nice. Sometimes I feel like brand skimp on pockets on a lot of their jackets, so I'm glad Abercrombie still has pockets on their jackets. And again, as always, this is really, really nice quality. I am wearing this one in an extra small, but honestly, I think I could get away with many sizes in this one. I could possibly get up to like a medium, a large, so that's kind of the nice part about shopping in person. Like I was saying earlier, you're able to see maybe you thought something wouldn't fit in that size, but then it actually does. So so if you would have shopped online and just filtered by size, you would have missed out on it. And then price point for this one. This one was originally $70, marked down to $49, and then marked down again to only $22. So $22 for a cute, nice quality hoodie, I feel like is a pretty good deal. And yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I feel like this is one of those items that's just a great wardrobe basic, and it will definitely be getting a lot of use out of. All right, and then next up, we've got this little little pair of running shorts and I haven't dabbled too deep into Abercrombie activewear but if you guys want me to take a full deep dive look at their activewear collections let me know in the comments I'm curious kind of try it out and so these shorts are just cute little running shorts nothing crazy going on I do like how they have this inner lining on them so they have like little shorts built into the running shorts which is nice because I feel like sometimes with this material if they are a little too short it can kind of ride up and a little bit too much you might <laughs> start showing so it is nice to kind of have those spandexy undershorts just to, you know keep everything together and appropriate and I am wearing these in a size extra small the waistband's pretty stretchy so I could potentially get away with maybe a size up a size down but extra small I feel like fits really well for me I also really like the color of them this nice little navy blue these are definitely a summertime item so something in this haul I can wear during the summertime especially going to take my dog on a walk I feel like these are perfect so these ones originally retail for $45 marked down to about $16 and then marked down again to only $7, which is crazy. So yeah, these little running shorts, $7. And they're like really nice quality. They have real pockets in them. If you need to put anything in your pockets while you're going on a walk, on a run. And yeah, overall, just a really great deal. All right, and last but not least, this is probably my wackiest purchase of this haul. But anyways, they are these very beautiful satin pajama pants, which is just kind of random, but they were on such a great deal that I couldn't not get them. So these are, like I said, just really nice satin pajama pants. I feel like though, honestly, I could probably wear these as regular pants. I know like the flowy linen look is very in right now, also very summerish, European summer vibe, and 
I feel like these could kind of fall in that category as well. I don't know, am I crazy? Do you think I could actually wear these as regular pants? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I am wearing these in an extra, extra small, which I think the fit is perfect. So these probably then run a little bit on the big side, but they are completely adjustable in the waistband. They have a little tie detail that really does like tie it up so if they are too big too small you definitely have that to lean back on and then lengthwise I don't think they're too too long I feel like that's normally my fear in pants like this where the pants are just way too tall for me for reference I am about 5'3 so these ones do fit really nicely and then for price point these originally retail for $50 marked down to about $18 and then marked down again to only like $8 so $8 for really nice satin pajama pants? Kind of a no-brainer. All right, so that was my full Abercrombie clearance haul. As always, I will link everything I tried on today in my description down below. I will just caveat all of these I did buy in person and on clearance, so I might not be able to find the exact item but I will try my best and also link some alternatives and other really great deals. Like I said Abercrombie clearance is such a hidden gem and so I'm glad I'm able to finally share it with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video a few little shopping tips some clearance finds be sure to give it a thumbs up give it a like share it with your friends. Also if there's anywhere else you want me to check out their clearance section or that you know of is a great shopping hidden gem let me know in the comments down below. Also if you haven't already please do subscribe Subscribe. I really really appreciate it and as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one